Everything's bigger. Everything's brighter. Everything's louder. These players know that this is going to be one of the biggest days of their lives. It's all the big games you've ever played rolled into one. That was a cool little cutscene, but it was the wrong Super Bowl. We're, we're in Super Bowl, what is it? 59, I believe? No, no, 58, I think. But, as you can see, the yearly awards are out, and C.J. Lewis wins his back-to-back -back MVP. Matthew Stafford was right behind him. And, as you saw on the field, as Doug Peterson wins Coach of the Year, you saw our opponent... And it could not have been more of a surprise. The six-seeded Seattle Super Supersonics. I was about to say, wow. Oh, my camera's not even on. God damn it. All right, now it is. The six-seeded Seattle Seahawks defeat the Eagles by seven to make it to their, what is this, their third Super Bowl? I believe. And I just got to see these stats. Mac Jones, the quarterback of the Seahawks. Beats Rhett Whittaker. What a game for Mac Jones. They got Kenneth Rock Walker on the ground. They've got him in the air too. With Jarvis Landry. Tyler Lockett. But no uh, DK Metcalf. And for the Chargers. There's one thing I want to check. Where did Derwin James go? So I don't know if I ever showed where the top. Zach Martin's the highest overall in the game. I don't know if I ever showed where some of the top players went. I might have, but I want to see where Derwin James is. Oh, he is on the Chargers, so he must have been hurt. So, yeah, he, he was definitely hurt. And who was the other player that was missing? It was from the Seahawks. It was DK Metcalf. DK Metcalf was missing, and there he is. And he's on the Falcons. Okay, fair enough. But it's the time... We've all been waiting for the Super Bowl. And since this might be my last episode, the last game for C.J. Lewis, we have two upgrade points. I guess I'll put it into receive and get us up to a 90 overall. And that is what we are. Level 21, 90 overall. Going into our possible and most likely last game of the year and of this franchise against the Seahawks. So, And I had the option to retire. So stay tuned for that episode if we do win. Oh my god, my game crashed. <laughs> Bro, I swear. If I can if the game crashes every time I try and play the Super Bowl, this is actually gonna be the worst way the series ends. I if I'm not even able to play the Super Bowl because Madden, oh my goodness. It did not crash. Okay, I guess I couldn't change the uniforms. Mac Jones of the Seattle Seahawks. Tyler Lockett. He's wearing Geno Smith's number, with disrespect. Going up against C.J. Lewis, Josh Allen, Stefan Diggs, and the Buffalo Bills in Super Bowl. It should be... What Super Bowl is this? It's not even going to say. We are in Las Vegas, though. Seahawks, Bills. I don't know what Super Bowl it is. I, I want to see the logo, but it's not going to show me the logo. I am going to assume it is Super Bowl, I think it's, what, 59? Oh, it says it right there. 58. It's Super Bowl 58. Bills, Seahawks, this should be a good one, or we're going to blow them out of the water. And the Seahawks showing why they made it all the way to the Super Bowl, scoring on their first drive, but they have never seen the likes of C.J. Lewis. I don't think we've played them this year, or else I would have knew Mac Jones was their quarterback. So this is a first-time matchup. It's kind of cool that a team like the Seahawks made it, because usually you would expect it to be a team like the Rams or Eagles, or Packers, maybe Buccaneers, but even though Brady's retired. But I like that team like the Seahawks made it. It makes things more interesting, because no one would have expected this, even though their quarterback's Mac Jones. But we're going to go with the pass play here. He, the pressure was on as we get the completion. What a way to stay composed, Josh Allen. We get a second of five here. We're not facing one of the top rushing defenses, I imagine, like the Chargers were. Uh, and we're going to get the first down just barely. All right. We're gonna... Josh Allen, your arm has been amazing this playoff run. Let's see it continue here as we're going to give you the ball. And he makes another spectacular pass. 
that is incomplete because Stefan Diggs did not get his feet inbounds. So, another play action play for you, Josh. Another play action. Who's going to break three first? Oh my god, I just got decked. I just got murdered and Nwosu, the former Charger, is going to get the sack. Third and 19. Maybe trusting Josh Allen's arm wasn't the best thing. I mean, I at least want to get into field goal range. Right here. At least get us into field goal range. Let's get some points on the board. As it's fourth and nine, we get barely back to the original line of scrimmage, and we're most likely kicking a field goal. And for once, we did not put a touchdown on the board in our first drive. I don't know. That might be the first time this playoffs. That's that's usually where the commentators would say and put up that graphic of first time this playoff run that this team has not scored a touchdown on the first drive in the first half within 30 seconds left of the game. Where one of those stupid stats would come up. But it is what it is. The Seahawks did not score. And we quickly have another third down while I was making that point. And have, why not? Why not get a halfback screen? Because it's going to be an easy first down. That That's why. As I truck a man... And going to get the first down. And that was the end of quarter one of Super Bowl 58. And that Titans name was Arnold. Arnold with the reception. So I will remember that for the rest of this game if he ever gets another reception. Arnold is the man. First and ten. I need about eight more yards after contact. Which shouldn't be hard. Uh, well, I mean, seeing that I'm not getting touched much. Because, you know, they can't catch me. I dip myself in butter before every game. For in, like in Vaseline, and that's going to be a touchdown. No, it was not a touchdown. Okay, I see how it is. I see how we're going to play this. I see how we're going to play this, referees. I'm getting in that end zone. I'm getting in that end zone, and I'm scoring the first touchdown for the Buffalo Bills. It's only right that CJ Lewis is the first for points on the board for the Bills, and the Seahawks not letting up. Putting another touchdown on the board to take the lead right back. Mac Jones. He must be slinging that rock out there, man. Must be slinging it. Five minutes left in the first half. And I believe we get the ball at halftime. So that's a plus. Give it to me. Give it to me. Let me do my thing. We got the first down. As we get a third and five. This has been one hell of a defense, bro. I tell you that much. I'm telling you that much. This defense is not letting up. They are not letting us get anything. I would have gone for that. It's fourth and inches. I have a slight feeling they're going to go for it. They did and they scored. Okay. They always go for it when I'm not in the game. Maybe because I'm calling the plays and they don't want me to. But third quarter now. We have a three-point lead. Josh, do what you do best. Sling that rock to Gabe Davis. Gain of eight. New set of downs. First and goal. At the 8-yard line, I'm looking to punch it in for my third touchdown of the day. That might not happen because they got me on lockdown. So let's call for a pass and play. And that looks a, a little bit enticing there. Looks a little enticing, a little enticing, a little enticing, a little and Nope. Nope. Third and goal. Uh, we got a pass here. Kind of have no choice. Uh, I might be open. Nope, I'm not open. He had a foot. Kalil! You had a foot out of bounds, bro! Alright, well, let me kick the field goal, maybe? Or are you going to go for it? They went for it and scored again. I don't know who's scoring these touchdowns. I don't know if it's Josh Allen or if it's our kicking unit. But if it's our kicking unit scoring these touchdowns as they turn the ball over, oh boy, you ain't winning this game. If our kicking unit has as many points as your entire offense, we got problems. And they also have 28 rushing yards. They have more passing yards than us because we haven't been really passing the ball. And when we do, it's not um, for many yards. But the fact that our kicking unit most likely has more touchdowns than you. Like I said, I don't really know. It could be just our offense was there. That is not a good look for you guys. Third and five. And I barely get it. Man, these championship games, I have not been able to convert on these third downs. Oh, I'm gone. I'm gone. No! Is that Jamal Adams? He doesn't have any ability? That was a touchdown if Diggs could block him. Second and two on the seven-yard line. Can we get the blocks we need? We do not. We're going to be heading into the fourth quarter because obviously we don't have enough time to run the play. 
with a 24 to 14 lead looking to make it 31 to 14 can we do it is the question i feel confident i'm not going to run down this down you know you say third and one seahawks in the super bowl it wasn't third down but he gets the catch somehow he gets the catch we're at the two yard line don't worry i'll do it for you i'll do it for you richard sherman run the damn ball no oh my god that just ruined that whole clip let's try that again richard this is for you richard sherman one yard line you have cj lewis in the backfield we ran the damn ball richard sherman yeah against your former team we ran it touchdown and that the seahawks don't score that will most likely do it for the super bowl and the seahawks just had to make it interesting they, they just had to make it interesting, huh? You couldn't just let us have our glory, huh? Well, now I'm going to turn into prime Randy Moss. Couldn't let us have our glory? You can't stop me on the ground. You're not stopping me in the air. I'm calling my own audibles. I'm running my own routes. We're winning this Super Bowl. Don't you dare try and give us a fight. Don't you dare try and give us a fight. This game's over. They want to mess around. And try and be the underdogs. They want to try and be the heroes. Nah. That ain't happening. That is not happening. I will not let it. I will not let it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I just. Uh, I, oh. Oh no. Oh no. Josh Allen's faster than him. Oh no. Oh no. Pick six of the three point game. What'd I do? Oh no! <laughs> I tried to be the hero. Third and four. I really wanted a touchdown to seal it. But I mean, if we get a field goal, they can get they can take the lead. Oh, we got the first down. That was the biggest play of the game right there. I nearly did not get it. And we're gonna start running the ball. And with this kneel down, the kicking unit is gonna be able to run out the clock and crown us. Super Bowl champions and I did the math this should be the 30th episode of this series and this is going to be the last CJ Lewis is going to retire a Super Bowl champion and it's somewhat real well, it's actually not realistic at all I just came off a second MVP but I mean I think this is his sixth year in the league in face of the franchise because you come in as a four-year vet that's how you started off so, I mean, six-year career for a running back isn't terrible because running backs usually wear down. But let's enjoy it. Your Buffalo Bills are the Super Bowl champions in a close one. Got scary at the end with that pick six from Josh Allen. With His hair is going nuts. But we did it. What a series. Even though with all the stresses with the quarterback play and Madden being Madden. I should be holding that trophy, by the way. All the stresses. I'm not even up there, am I? Yeah, yeah, I'm back there. We did it. It's been a hell of a series. It's been a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. This is the most I've enjoyed a Madden series or a Madden, I guess, career mode almost in a while. And this is the first time I've actually completed one on the channel. Usually I'll start one, I'll play a few episodes and just stop there because it gets boring. But nah, this is the first time one's been completed. And it was one hell of a one. I think these only show highlights. I don't think there's any more cutscenes, and I would be correct. Final stats on the game, Josh Allen, 26-30, 251 yards and a pick. Mac Jones did end up getting his touchdown, but he threw a pick in the process. 38 rushes, 205 yards, 5 yards carry, 3 touchdowns. Receiving-wise, I had 156 yards in the air. I was the MVP, and now it's time to call it a career. I'll see you in a sec. So I'm pretty sure you get no cutscene for retiring. So we'll just stay at this screen. All right. And we're not, I'm not actually going to hit the retire from league button. Sometime I will. But that's it for me. Thank you all for this journey with this face of the franchise. It's been amazing. I'm going to continue the Madden content because that's what dominates this channel now. Surprisingly, is Madden. It went from 2K dominating to now Madden, which is very surprising to me. But we're going to keep on with the Chargers. My, uh, my league series. Uh, I just my league franchise and we we might start something new i have a few ideas in the brain for some more career modes but thank you all that's gonna be for me that's it for cj lewis 
as the running back. GG.